Hey my friends, today we'll be talking about the scary truth and the new earth as we are often talking about it. Many times, if we just look around us, we can see many people are afraid of what is going on and it's quite natural right now to be kinda afraid of it at least intention, to see that all chaos that is happening. And what is the most scariest thing about it? The most scariest thing about it is that we've been programmed to think that it is scary. That chaos is scary. Chaos is a natural process. Every time when we are moving through changes, we are going through a chaos. When we are applying certain changes in our lives, we always move through a chaos. So we've been programmed to think that when things are changing, we should be afraid. We should be angry on one another. We should compare with one another. And another scary thing is that we need to embrace our inner pain when we are moving through it. Again, it's a natural process. The only way to grow and to learn and to evolve is to embrace what is not aligned with us anymore. Another thing that we've been programmed is that we can run away from pain. You can buy this, you can buy that and you will run away from pain. You can buy a new car, you can buy new clothes and you will forget about your pain. Most advertisements are created that way. So we need to rethink everything a little bit to find our inner strength. Because if we look a little bit into our history, Charles Darwin said that the only hope for the future is for those who are strong, survival of the fittest. But now we know that it's not the only way to survive. The another way to survive is to be strong so you can uplift others. Be strong so you can uplift those who are not strong yet. Show them a way. Give them hope for the future. Provide such a powerful vision and follow it so you can inspire others to follow you. Or at least not just to follow you, not just to gain followers, but gain doers, create doers, inspire people that way so they will do their own job, they will do their own work of finding the truth, inspiration and harmony within them. So we need to find a way within ourselves, we need to connect or reconnect with ourselves again and the only way to work in harmony as a community. Each individual needs to find out that we are not individuals, that we are all connected on a deeper level. The only way we can truly achieve that is that we are not trying to be inspiring. We are inspired by something greater. And what we are doing, we are expressing that greatness. So others can be inspired by that as well. Why everything is so scary right now. It's because we are running from our inner pain. And what is inner pain? It's our fear. Fear of being left alone. Fear of being judged. Fear of being different. Fear of failing. We have many fears, right? And most of people are just hiding from it. But the truth is that if you truly want to awaken, if you truly want to go through chaos, go through changes and survive in this chaotic environment, is to embrace your pain. Go deeper into yourself. Forgive what there needs to be forgiven. Overcome what there needs to be overcome. Embrace what there needs to be embraced. So, we have been programmed to be victimized. When things are bad, when things are not the way we would like them to be, we feel victims of environment. And if we study a little bit epigenetics, we will find out that our body is a container of cells. Cells are living organisms, so basically we are 
a community of a living organism. That living organism can live in harmony or in chaos, in stress. But if it lives in harmony, it is healthy, it is happy, it is glowing in this beautiful, vibrant, vital energy. But if it is in chaos, we are constantly sick. We are constantly looking for help. We are constantly blaming somebody or something to feel that way. So we've been programmed to think that we need something outside of us to heal ourselves. But the root of all diseases is in ourselves which brings us to a logical understanding that also a cure to all diseases is within ourselves so the one who understands that doesn't need nothing outside to heal himself or herself and that is our mission here to create a heart coherence to create an inner experience where we can achieve that state of healing ourselves. Why I've mentioned epigenetics? You can study it by yourself. Read a book, Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. What's the whole point of it? If we go into cells of our body, we can find a membrane around each cell of the body and the function of the membrane is to receive a signal from its environment so the cell can respond to that signal. So what is the environment of the cell? It's a blood and blood is a chemistry which is influenced by emotional state. So when we're constantly scared, afraid, stressed, angry that's the signal that we are sending to our cells and cells are responding to it so they are protecting and that's what is exhausting our immune system that's what is draining our energy people which are constantly sick are usually because they are constantly afraid stressed and so on and what we want to do we want to provide more tools to elevate a greater state within your body so we need to go from the program of being a victim to the program of being creator program of being in love with life being in love with yourself being in love with environment being in love with a greater power when we're talking about programs everything sounds like a computer so think about that whatever program you install into a computer that's what computer will show to you on a screen so whatever belief you have in your mind that's how your life will look like programs are our beliefs so when we say that we've been programmed programmed by the environment it means that we've adopted certain beliefs about ourselves about how our body works about what we need to survive about how the universe works and so on and when it comes to changing our beliefs it means that we need to change certain stories about ourselves and about life so how to change a certain story we need to expand our mind we need to learn new things we need to try new things we need to experiment with ourselves with life with experiences read more books go study different things biology epigenetics quantum physics whatever helps you to understand yourself more deeply that's how you will be able to install new beliefs new perceptions new programs into your life by which your life be will be reflected in your reality what will change the change will happen firstly in your body still from epigenetics epi means above as dr bruce lipton is explaining it truly beautifully above genes is mind mind is creating perception of environment so we are not afraid of the environment we are perceiving environment a certain way so we got afraid of our perception how we see the world and that's what is causing a certain inner state so when we change our perception 
we will change our inner experience. So from where our perception is coming, from all the sources of information that we are perceiving. So why I'm sharing this with you? I've shared this kind of information many times, but it's so easy to forget it. Like, you just turn off a YouTube right now and you will start perceiving so many different things and you will forget about what I'm saying. But if you stay true to the truth, if you stay consistent to your own health, if you stay consistent to your mental health, if you stay consistent to your love, if, to, to, to your love, to your heart, if you stay consistent to following your love, to generating love, to be passionate about what you love to do, you will not be programmed by something which is lowering down your vibration. We are also believing other stories about us. And what we want to do is to create your own story about yourself, which can be so empowered, so powerful, that you will be inspired by your own story. Inspire yourself so you can be inspiration for others, my friends. Another scary truth. Authorities knows the truth. We don't know it, so we need to believe them. Many people believe that way. So it's nothing wrong with that, but we should also gain our own opinion about things. We should dig deeper, we should question everything. Not, I'm not saying not to believe doctors, not to believe people which have certain authorities, but question things, find another opinion and follow your intuition to create the best possible solution or to find the best possible choice what to do with certain thing. Everything can be helpful if we know how to decide in certain situation and the best way to create or to make the best possible decisions is by following our intuition. So we need to create a beautiful relationship with our in ourself, with our soul, so we can know when the intuition is telling us something and when our fear or analytical mind is telling us something. So it's all about being empowered by yourself, not searching anymore external sources to be motivated, to be inspired, by, but rather be inspired by yourself, finding the truth within you. So you may question how to find the truth within me. What is that? Is that another spiritual thing? And I'm saying no, except if the truth is spiritual. Probably it is because it's only mentioned in spirituality. But finding the truth within you can only be possible when you become a friend to yourself, when you start daily disconnecting yourself from the reality and how to do that. We have five senses to smell, to taste, to touch, to hear and to see. That's how we are sensing the reality, so-called reality. If we turn off all those five senses but still stay aware, which means that we will not be sensing our environment anymore, but we will still stay aware to feel what we feel within us. We will stop observing, we will stop analyzing, and slowly we will stop thinking, but we will still stay aware. When we will still stay aware, but not thinking and observing, it means that we will become a pure awareness. Awareness is consciousness, or consciousness is awareness. And when we become pure awareness, that's where we sense the truth. It's the inner sense. We could say we sense it with our heart, we could say we sense it with our soul being. It doesn't matter, but that's the inner sense through which we sense the truth. So, if we gain a skill to disconnect from environment every single day, it will become much easier to disconnect from fear or to turn off the fear, turn off any kind of emotional reaction. 
and awaken a greater state within you, which will help you to decide better, which will help you to choose the best possible next step. It will also help you to communicate better, it will help you to raise or to increase your immune system, it will help you to be happier, it will help you to be more kind to yourself and to others. So the truth is that there is no scary thing if you're able to disconnect from scary things. So this is it for today, my friends. Do not be scared about it, but rather work on yourself and find that inner harmony which is constantly within you, hidden behind all the layers of identity. So search it and you will find it. And living in harmony with one another can only happen if we are able to go beyond fear, go beyond anger, go beyond any emotional reaction so we can connect more deeply, so we can find more meaningful conversations, more meaningful connections. So everyone can find within his or her greatest potentials so they can express them. Most people are lost in their minds thinking, well, I'm not talented enough, it's not possible for me. But that's another thing, you've been programmed to think that way. Rethink yourself so you can re-engineer yourself. We are all talented in some ways. So maybe you're not talented in drawing and painting, but, but you're probably talented in something else. You need to find it and you need to develop it. You can only develop it through consistent work, consistent repetition. We all are talented in some ways. We need to find those talents. We need to express them because that's how we can share your uniqueness with the world. And the world needs your uniqueness. That's the truth. Research what is your uniqueness. What is your inner truth? And find the source of inspiration within you and bring it to the world. That's it, my friends. I'm sending you love power and blessings. Today I'm sharing with you again a phoenix. You've probably saw it before, but in the times like this, it's great to be reminded that you are a phoenix. In the times of chaos, something beautiful will emerge out of you. So focus on what is emerging, not what is falling apart, what you're losing, but what is emerging out of it. Remember a butterfly. From caterpillar it is going through a huge chaos. If you would research what is happening in the cells of the caterpillar, scientists would say that a caterpillar is dying. But actually slowly it is transforming to a butterfly. So life works in mysteries many times, but mysteries are beautiful because they are unknown. So stop predicting your future so much, but rather create it. This is it, my friends, once again. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. One love.